Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for this problem B that is plus minus split. Okay, so in this problem we are given a string S that is consists of plus and minus characters and S represents an array of length n defined by a i equal to 1 if s i equal to plus and a i equal to minus 1 if s i equal to minus 1 uh, sorry minus sign right so we will need to do like we will need to calculate the penalty and how how we will do that <coughs> okay so we need to split a in sub arrays number of sub arrays and then we'll do the concatenate concatenation okay so that the final array a can be generated and how penalty will be calculated we need to sum the sub array and multiply with the length of it okay then you need to sum all the penalties you calculated the penalty from all the sub arrays possible so how can we split a like that if this is the array, we can split like 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 and like that. So like we can't, we need to take consecutive element that is the main case. And we can't leave any element because we need to generate it again. If we concatenate, concatenate it. So what we need to do, we need to minimize the penalty, right? So in the first case, we have plus. That means that is 1. So we can't do, uh, this is the only sub array possible. So we need to take it and one is the sum multiplied by the length one. Hence answer will be one here. Okay. So that's very simple case. So let's see some good example. So minus, 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 minus. So five minus. Okay. So what we can do, like we can create this, like we can take sub array, one sub array like this. So the total will be minus five and multiplied by five. So the absolute value of this will be 25. So that will be your answer. But as you can see, the answer is five. That means we have not done things optimally. So we need to do things optimally. And how can we do that? Let it be if we take this thing minus one, like divide this array like this. This is one sub array, this is another, another, like that. So, what is that case? So, it will be minus one cross one. And this, there are five sub arrays possible, so whole multiplied by five. So, answer will be here. 5 right so similarly we need to do for this case so let's see that so we have plus minus plus minus plus minus okay so we can take like the earlier case 1 1 1 so we, if we if we will do that then answer will be 12 in this case if we take the single element at once if we take whole all elements then the sum will be here 0 because every element will be cancelled out so 0 cross 5 that is equal to 6 sorry 0 cross 6 that is 0 so that is the minimum here this case is worthy and for our one, we need single, single, single sub-array. That case is worth it. So what is the core of this problem? The core of this problem is to minimize the sum, right? So we need to see, we need to extend our array in a such a way that our, that our sum of that sub-array is zero or like minimized. That is the main goal. And also we need to see that the length also minimized. So what we need to do, like there are only two possibilities like plus and minus. That means we can couple these things, right? We can couple these things. And if we couple, 
that will that will result into zero that means like we can reduce that and like if we can't couple some if we can't couple some of the values then what we can do like we can divide into at one so one into one so it will impact only one score are you getting like in this case we have first two minus so we can couple it with plus two so that will result zero okay and now we have plus minus that is also zero in between we have four plus so we can take we can create four sub arrays of one 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 four sub arrays we can take the minimum value so that is one only so one into one and that is the number of occurrences is four so our answer is four similarly in this case also right so what you need to do just calculate the count of plus calculate the count of minus subtract them subtract them the count of this thing count of this and this subtract and take the absolute value you need to return the absolute value of plus count and minus count okay this is the thing you just need to focus you just need to focus on this just take the count of plus and minus and take the difference take the absolute value and return it this will accept your answer hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding